This grey box was the start of something big for WA, the state's biggest battery. It had been hoped the 100 megawatt behemoth, which will store excess capacity, including solar power, for use later, would be operational by the end of this year, capable of powering 160,000 homes for two hours. Synergy declined to comment on camera, but in a statement confirmed it now won't be switched on until after testing begins in February, towards the end of what's predicted to be a stressful period for the state's power grid. The difference between the highest demand day in a mild summer versus the highest demand day in an extreme summer can be three or four hundred megawatts. So it's a sizable contribution to that. The Premier downplayed the issue today. With these things you can obviously have scope change and you can obviously also have some cost increases because of world supply issues. Those scope changes include a new fire containment system and issues with earthworks at the old Quinana power station site, costing an extra $19 million. The delays come on top of concerns about coal supply, as well as some of the state's biggest gas generators being offline. And one or two new power stations are a bit late coming on. I think there was some hope that the battery would come in time to provide some help uh, over the summer months. and. Yeah, perhaps it, it may not be able to do so. The energy market operator says delays with this battery here in Quinana contributed to its decision to use a process it hasn't used in WA in more than a decade, asking the market for reserve capacity either from generators or from big consumers of power who agree to use less when the grid is under strain. The regulator says with those assurances in place, it's confident it can handle any shortfall this summer. Ken Burke. ABC News.